For some people, it's a fond memories. You know, for others, it's a difficult time. You know, my dad had a business. He was very busy, but he always made time for yeah. us kids. And uh, he'd drag us water skiing for hours. He, he didn't care. Or fishing, just whatever we wanted to do, he was just yeah. there. And yeah. just this importance of family, and he really instilled that in us by his by his actions. So, yeah. yeah. June 6th just came by. My dad was a World War II uh, veteran. Mm -hmm. He was in, he didn't go through D-Day, but he was a part of Patton's Army. And every year, um, I remember June 6th because of him and he was like bigger than life growing up. So, so he was a patriot and, and yeah, and he had a love of country. And yeah, love of country and he was a great man and he didn't really raise his voice much. I just remember that, just don't cross the line and yeah. wouldn't have to cross my dad. Yeah. You know, my dad gave me a lot of things over the years. I got a sh he gave me a shotgun. It was my very first shotgun when I was eight. I highly recommend that for every dad <laughs> to give his eight-year-old son a shotgun. But he also gave me like a work ethic. He worked so hard, you know, and taught us that if you start something, you finish it. I don't know how many times I tried to quit band or you know something. I'd start something and oh no 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 you, yeah, you can you can finish that right yeah, yeah. so that, I mean those are the kinds of things that he gave me they're just like so invaluable to me today I think uh, parents are a very important part in the kids life and fathers in particular because your actions the way you act everything um, those kids will emit uh, will do the same as you do my father was definitely a person that really defined my work ethic he wanted us to have more of um, joy in our lives regardless if it was being there for us or buying us presents as little kids to see a bigger smile so it wasn't until um, my parents divorced, actually, when I was 17, that, um, that I really got so much closer to my dad. He opens the door and he hugs me and holds me. It's been months since we've seen each other. And um, that's how much he loved me and missed me, was to just so crying to see me come through the door. That's where our father-daughter story began. I really learned how to, how to think about other people over myself mm. through my dad and uh, he recently passed and the number of stories I was told of how he helped them personally things I never knew about and I was with him for 25 years and, and he helped dozens of people and uh, never said a word to anybody so when he saw a need he just jumped in and took yeah. care of it he was kind of close guard yeah. he guarded closely his emotions but they all and he was mm. always there for me but when I, I remember leaving and uh, he stood in the driveway as I drove away with my family. And I, and I, I never saw him cry, but I think he was crying that day because he was, he was going like this. And <laughs> it's like, that's the last time I saw him. Yeah. I saw him alive. He worked long, um, hard days and uh, he would never like ever say, oh, I'm too tired, even though I'm sure he was. But I mean, as a kid, it felt great to, um, when he did come home from work, spend time with us and, you know, do things with us. And so um, it made those moments so much more enjoyable. One week before our son Max was born, my father got his terminal cancer diagnosis. And there was no doubt how much he loved me. But as he was dying, as his last few days, and we were together a lot, and I'd sit with him. And one time I said to him, I said, do you know how much you mean to me? And he said, I know, I know. I think it's never too late to impact your kids. I think that the opportunity is always there. Even if you're 80, 90 years old and you've missed out on a whole bunch, you still have you know, that um, opportunity to um, impact your child's life for whatever uh, time is still here and, and just love them. Honestly, that's all kids really want. I went away to college never been away from home. Uh, I remember my father standing in the, in the driveway uh, as I was pulling out. I didn't do well uh, away from home the first time. I made a lot of bad decisions, got into some trouble. 
and uh, I, I missed home. I thought I was going, man, I was running to get away from there. But within a few months, I, it was like, I, I need to go home. Yeah. When I pulled into the driveway, he was standing there. Right where he did, yeah. when, he, when I left. Mm -hmm. It's like he never moved. Yeah. And he was just waiting. Like I said, I'd, you know, I'd made some bad decisions, but I'll never forget, he didn't say one word about any of that. He just opened the car door, reached in and grabbed me and gave me a big hug. Said, Man, we're, we're so glad you're home. It was pretty cool. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know, these guys helped to shape us. Whether they did it right or wrong, they helped to shape us.